Hello, this is Eli and Crop presenting the fourth demo providing an introduction to the FastGraphs screening function. This is one of the most useful and beneficial features of the FastGraphs research tool, which is only available to the premium subscriber. Once you are logged into the FastGraphs charting tool, you can go directly to the screening tool by clicking the screening button located on the upper left hand side of the default page, above where you'd enter the ticker symbol. The screening tool allows the premium subscriber to search the database for whatever kind of stock they are seeking. By utilizing this powerful function, the subscriber can hone in on identifying the specific types of stocks they are looking for, possibly saving them hours of laborious effort and work. There are several inputs that a subscriber can manipulate in order to focus on the exact items they are screening for. For instance, within the growth and valuation section, there are historical metrics like the 5-year and 10-year historical growth rates, along with forward-looking metrics like the estimated growth rate and the forecast valuation multiple. Under the dividends and return section, you can screen for current yield, historical annual rates of return, and estimated total annual rate of return. For example, you could search for companies with a current dividend yield over 3% and a 5-year expected total annual rate of return over 10%. Finally, you have the pricing and other fundamental sections to screen by things like cap sides, and stock price. One thing that we suggest in this process is to be realistic when you're clicking these buttons. Of course you can screen for all of the criteria, but you may be unnecessarily limiting your search result. Now I'm going to go through a screening example to demonstrate how to effectively utilize this tool. Given that the average company tends to grow between 5 and 10 percent a year, I might want to look for companies that grew faster than that. For instance, I could select a 5-year historical EPS growth rate of over 10 percent. Once you click this button, you will notice that the screening tool will tell you how many fil filtered results fit this criterion. In this case, 2,654 companies in our database have grown EPS by 10% or greater over the last five years. I might also add the 10-year historical EPS growth rate to look for consistency, again screening for companies with growth rates above 10%. Now that I've checked these two buttons, this brings our search results down to 978 companies. Then perhaps you want to screen for current yield. Let's say I want to look for a company with a 3% or higher dividend yield. I simply click on this 3% button and see that our screen is now down to 131 companies. Finally, perhaps I want to look for companies with a 5-year estimated total return above 10%. I can click this button and refine our search to 63 companies. Now I'm going to stop here because I suggest that the subscriber doesn't get too complex with this. You should make your screens with as few data points as you can. Also notice that I required a stock price above $5 in this screen. What we have now is a final screening result count of 32 companies. Before you run your screen, I would suggest that you select a stocks per page number found in this drop down that is greater than the number of screen results. For instance, in this case there are 32 companies in the final screening result count, so I might select 40, 40 stocks to display per page. Once I click that, the screen will begin. Be patient as the screen might take a few moments to load. Once the screening is complete, you will see a list of stocks that fit your criteria, with all the relevant data displayed in table format. Additionally, you can simply click each company's graph button to take you to the default FastGraphs page for whichever company you select. Perhaps the most useful feature of the screening tool is that it provides a list of all the symbols in the screen at the bottom of the page. With these tickers listed, you can copy the tickers, and then from there you can go into the portfolio section of FastGraphs and create a portfolio of these screen companies. For instance, now I am in the portfolio section where the premium subscriber can create an unlimited number of portfolios. Here I might create a new portfolio and call it Screen. And then I would hit Add or Edit. Then I can simply paste the list of tickers that I just copied. Note that you will have to hit the Add Exchange button as we are now utilizing Standard & Poor's Capital IQ database, which is a global database. Additionally, some tickers might be listed on multiple exchanges, so make sure that you're only adding the companies you want to. I can then click Update. Furthermore, you also have the capability to scroll through these screen companies in the same manner that you can scroll through any portfolio. This portfolio section will be covered in more detail in the next demo video. Finally, there are a few other features that I would like to highlight. Once you have finished a screen, you can start over or reset the screening tool by simply clicking the Screening Reset button, or you can do this at any time during the process. Additionally, you also have the ability to use the toggle bars and the minimum and maximum boxes to input precise parameters. You can also choose sectors. For example, you can limit your screen to healthcare companies. You have the option to include or exclude ADRs, indexes, and the Canadian exchange companies. This concludes the fourth demonstration video. The next demo video will explain the portfolio construction and management features of FastGraphs.